We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. Until the first time, viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. Until the subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for a return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss a stock or possibly one of the top number one stocks to possibly squeeze based off of short interest, where the stock sits, and how much potential this has to actually reverse and push the shorts turning into bulls from bears. But before we look at the chart and everything about it, I want to share with you guys the stocks I mentioned this morning over at the Discord, as well as two stocks I mentioned this weekend, one that I posted a video on that actually went up 20% plus so far. And over at the Patreon, I talked about a stock near its all-time lows, and it's already up 10% plus. And we're going to come right back into it to the top stock, that is set to possibly explode. So the stocks I mentioned this morning turned out to give realistic expectations, five to 15% opportunities. They didn't break out 20% plus, which is a home run in our definition of home runs, but five to 15% on the day at their spikes and highest point of possibility is phenomenal. We're gonna look at these stocks, and if this is something that interests you and you wanna become part of, you're more than welcome to. The link is down below in the description to the Discord, and by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So I mentioned CARA, mentioned AEHR, and by the way, CARA has been mentioned for days now since it was at $11 by other members in the community. I wasn't following it until I saw FDA approval, and this morning it gave an opportunity of 10 to 15% on its spike. I like to wait for things to actually have actual solid data, but a lot of investors were watching it, they were pretty confident, and that's the other part too about joining. You don't just see the stocks I'm watching, but if not, the community as well shares their insights. Then I also mentioned CRDL and BPTH, guys. So if this is something that you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description. So here we have Naked Brand Groups Limited, NAKD on the screen. This is a stock I mentioned this weekend on August 21st. Top penny stock to watch before Monday. This penny stock can go crazy. Key levels, watch ASAP. Now, only 600 people watched it. I hope more people start watching these and don't overlook it because this stock actually pulled back on Monday, right? Sitting sideways, hit those lows right there, and it actually has spiked up nearly 10% plus. You could see it right there. This has been a phenomenal jump all the way up to its spike of nearly 10 to 20% actually at its highest point where it's currently sitting is about 10%. Its highest point was nearly a home run. Now we're going to talk about another stock that I mentioned this weekend over at the Patreon, which you'll gain access to as well. If you join the community, the link is down below. And here it is, PSFE. It was sitting actually downwards, right? But sideways on that downward pressure. And I was looking at that support level of 806, currently sitting at 824 when I mentioned this and shared it. I go ahead and share the analysis price targets and why it is that I'm watching it. I do a brief summary on my due diligence and what I like about it. And if we look here at the chart, PSFE is on fire, guys. And I think there's more room, right? It's something to watch carefully, but this stock has gone up since I mentioned it, nearly 10% plus hitting 902, guys, because it had a little bit of a sideways action, started to take off, and it had recent news of an acquisition. And it's having a slight pullback here. So if I put 42 vision, you can actually see that this pullback seems to still have some strength. It can actually turn into weakness if it shifts from dark green with red border to red. But if it doesn't, it can start bouncing back up. And you can see all the strength here since I mentioned it and how it's been reacting in just two days, right? I mentioned it on Sunday. You can see that right there on the 22nd at actually 9.53 p.m. right before, you know, the next day. And Monday morning, this stock started to take off and it's hit high so far of $9 and it could possibly continue into the end of the week. It's going to definitely be something I will be watching, but it's already up 10% plus. So we're going to jump into these charts and everything about it. But if you guys want to gain live access to these stocks and when I mention them, as well as the community itself that is growing and learning, you can become part of it too. Check out the links down below and we look forward to having you join us.
This is a stock that we've mentioned before over at the Discord, and we've talked about this one before, and it's actually going in a staircase upward direction in a very, very subtle way. And you're going to look at it here in the chart. But before we look at it, I want to share with you guys how the short float is looking, and then we're going to look at some of the technicals here and some of the important things for the bulls to actually continue to push this up and what levels would actually start to create that possible short squeeze for the shorts to have to start covering. If you actually look at the chart, the shorts have slightly started to cover in a very subtle way because I mean, it's just pushing up very interesting, continuing every day at newer levels. So we're gonna look at that now. So if we go ahead and look here, right? The short float interest or short interest, if you call it, is 25%, it's call it short float here, but it's the short interest share. So it's 25% right now. That is pretty high for a stock, okay? 20% or higher is pretty high, 30% is high, but 25%, it's not that far from 30 and it's not that far from 20, but it's in that range that it's high, okay? So 25% is actually an increase of what we've seen before. This was actually a little bit lower, closer to 22, 23. If this continues going higher, the bigger the opportunity of a squeeze happening is in the chart. And we're going to look at that now. So right now, the stock, the lowest that it hit is 261 after its run. We talked about it on those days when it was running after its fresh news and everything going on with NAOV. Pull back down. Lowest point, 261. If it doesn't retest that and it stays above that, there's some strength. Now, the stock has continued to come back up to about 290 and gets rejected every single time, but it happens every day. And today it kind of just pushed up and it hasn't gone to a newer low. So when it would hit 290, it would just come right back down to the 260s. Today, it hit a little bit above 290s, the high 290s, and stayed at 290. That's the beginning of a staircase effect, right? Happening and going higher, right? To continue going higher and eventually when the shorts have to cover, this is going to push up to newer highs. So what's the level we want to see this breakthrough right now? The first level is 299, okay? 261 is our support. We're just going to look at that as the support because it's the lowest point. There are supports in between, but that's the most significant. 299, I'll just round that up to $3. That needs to be broken through. And if that can be broken through, the next point of reference is 315. And for the shorts to possibly actually start showing a significant amount in the charts, they need to break through 315 and get up here to 350 or beyond the bulls. And if the bulls can do that, the shorts may eventually have to start covering, pushing this up to newer highs and new resistance levels that we have not seen. And the 52 week range was touched back here at this highest peak of 419. So that will be very interesting. If a short squeeze does happen, will it get back towards those numbers or will it break right through it? I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.